I realized that I was different or maybe a little special compared to other kids when I was around five or six, like in kindergarten, because I was working on maybe more advanced material, you know, reading at a fifth or sixth grade level compared to the kindergarten students. I started taking college classes when I was seven years old. I started taking community college classes. I graduated high school at 10 years old and then became a full-time college student and transferred to UC Davis at the age of 12 years old. Why college at seven? I spoke at TEDx Sacramento when I was only nine years old. Some of my more immediate goals, of course, would be to, of course, finish up my PhD, go to medical school, and work towards becoming a, a doctor and a medical researcher. So my uh, future, I guess, still long-standing goal is to, to be President of the United States. So that's something I've been dreaming of since I was, I guess, seven or eight years old. And I'm still, hopefully, working towards that goal. My name is Tanishk Abraham. I am a PhD candidate at uh, UC Davis. I am 18 years old and I am researching biomedical engineering, especially applications of AI uh, to medicine like pathology and microscopy. I have started my education at quite young and at quite accelerated pace. I realized that I was different or maybe a little special compared to other kids when I was around five or six, like in kindergarten, because I was working on maybe more advanced material, reading at a fifth or sixth grade level compared to the kindergarten students or doing a little bit more advanced math. I kind of noticed that and realized that I'm a little bit different from the regular students my own age. I started taking college classes when I was seven years old. I started taking community college classes. I graduated high school at 10 years old and then became a full-time college student and transferred to UC Davis at the age of 12 years old. And I graduated from UC Davis at the age of 14 years old and then I joined the PhD program here at Davis. I think that learning is fun. Because of that, I just kind of wanted to keep going and devour as many textbooks or participate in as many classes as possible and having a fun time doing that. I'm always looking uh, towards what's the next thing to do. So, you know, that also has kept me motivated. I think what drives me is my passion for, for the topic and my love of, of the topic and learning about the topic but then also just having these goals in mind and trying to achieve those goals. I'm, I'm always working hard towards achieving whatever goals I have in mind. Well, some of my more immediate goals, of course, would be to, of course, finish up my PhD, go to medical school, and actually uh, work towards uh, becoming a, a doctor and a medical researcher. Uh, hopefully, in the future, I will be a, a medical researcher, uh, but also a practicing doctor, so I can help patients directly, but also uh, help with uh, translating research advances to the clinic as well. My PhD research is focused on applying artificial intelligence to medicine and specifically to pathology and microscopy, how we are using AI or artificial intelligence applied to when we are examining the tissue to, to make diagnosis for that examination process, what we can use AI to help improve that process. That's kind of what I'm researching. So AI is a, a new kind of hot topic and it seems like it'll have a lot of positive impact in the field of medicine. So I, I wanted to be on the cutting edge of this field and learn and research how we can apply AI to medicine and see how we can use AI to positively impact people. I've always kind of been interested in medical uh, science, health science. I think there's a little bit of background in, uh, in the family already, kind of veterinary medicine, uh, but that's still kind of related. So I've, there, there's a little bit of that background in the family. So I've always kind of been attracted to that kind of field. But I think that also going into medicine is another great way of having a positive impact on people and saves people's lives. You know, that's, I, I think that's a very noble mission and, and, it, and it's, uh, and of course, I'm always excited by science. I think it's a perfect fit for me. I uh, spoke at TEDx Sacramento when I was only nine years old, talking about my, my journey, and that has been uh, viewed by many people. My TEDx talk has been very influential. Even in India, there was a case where it was about a student who was trying to advance, and the judge had cited my TEDx talk for supporting the students. There's a little bit, a little blurb about my story in a psychology textbook, which was published recently as a case study about high intellect people. So they had mentioned me on that. 
In 2015, uh, when I was about 10 or 11 years old, I was a contestant on a TV show known as Child Genius, and it was a competition with other advanced kids as well. So yeah, that was a very interesting experience, and you know, to hear from all, all, all these people who were watching the show as well, so that was kind of interesting. Well, I was honored at the Vatican, won an award there. I was also on the uh, cover of Esquire magazine for special issue, special publication for Esquire anniversary. And there were various people from ages like one through uh, 80, I think it was, yeah, one through 80. And I was representing the 10 year old. So I was there on the cover as the 10 year old. And you know, there were other uh, famous people on the cover as well, including President Obama. So it was another interesting experience for me to be on, on the cover of, uh, of a well-known magazine. I've had uh, many opportunities from a young age that other kids my age haven't had. I've been very fortunate to have all these opportunities, especially when I was younger, I was very interested in astronomy. So I had the opportunity to meet various you know, NASA scientists and NASA astronauts and visited some of the NASA laboratories at the uh, NASA Ames, um, where I actually presented a research poster actually. Um, and got honorable mention for that research poster. And then also I've been to uh, JPL uh, and visited the mission control over there. Um, I've got, yeah, various different opportunities, uh, you know, meeting various different famous scientists in, in these fields. I've had the opportunity to attend various uh, events, uh, sometimes as a guest speaker, like for example, as SXSW, I was a guest speaker at a panel. I also was a, you know, part of the, a, a video for this uh, Skull World Forum, which is like a very famous uh, kind of international forum talking about, I guess, various international policy and kind of thinking about the future, things like that. And I was part of their opening session video. So that was kind of an interesting experience. I've been like in various TV shows as well, um, such as on like the Queen Latifah show. Uh, I've been on like CNN. I've been on The Conan Show, various different opportunities I've had and met some of these famous celebrities as well. So yeah, I'm very active on social media and I often am getting messages from people around the world talking about their experiences and how my life story has inspired them to pursue their goals. You know, looking at me, uh, seeing how I've pursued my goals, how I've been working hard to pursue my goals, it's inspired many people around the world, uh, many students. Um, to do the same as well. So it's very humbling to, to see that, to see how I've inspired many students around the world and had a positive impact on people around the world. So that's, that's, that's a very, very humbling. My support system is mainly, of course, my family. You know, my parents have been there for me this entire time and are the ones that have been guiding me and helping me out. And of course, you know, I've had very helpful professors and mentors uh, throughout the years as well that have help me reach where I am today. Um, and of course, my sister has also uh, been very supportive. In my free time, I like to spend time on social media, but also I like to you know, watch movies and hang out with my family and especially my sister. My sister is um, 16 years old and she is currently a, a senior at UC Davis as well, and she's studying vocal performance. She's an amazing musician, and she's a, an amazing uh, singer, and uh, she is also very, very gifted and talented in her field, which is more, of course, in the arts. So it's a little bit different from my field, but uh, she is very talented in that field. And I watch different types of movies. We, we also watch Bollywood movies. Uh, I think my sister especially enjoys watching Bollywood movies. We like to watch as a family, you know, both uh, in the theaters or on Netflix or things like that. We try to keep up to date with the latest movies. My reading list is mainly still like textbooks and things like that, like like topics that I kind of want to learn on my, on, you know, on my free time. For example, maybe some physics or things like that that you know, I kind of want to learn. Some of the global issues that I'm concerned about in include uh, climate change um, and also kind of global health, especially uh, we've seen how important that is over, the, over these last couple years, how it's an issue and a challenge to coordinate response to a lot of these diseases, especially during these pandemic times. I think some other issues include uh, things like uh, education as well. I think that's a very important uh, uh, issue as well and you know, how, to, how to best support 
you know, students from around the world, uh, you know, students globally as well. Uh, I think that's another important, important issue that I'm interested in. My future, I guess, still long-standing goal is to, to be President of the United States. So that's something I've been dreaming of since I was seven or eight years old. Um, and I'm still hopefully working towards that goal. I want to reach the position of president uh, just as another way of positively impacting people around the world. I think it's a great opportunity, a great way of, of having more direct impact and very important position.